Hey Louie, let's go feed the chickens. Let's put your shoes on. All right, mm. thank you. Mm. Can you put the mm. sock on? Mm. <laughs> like it's the worst thing that ever happened. Put the sock on right here. Put the sock on. Put your sock on. Can you put your sock mm. on? You want me to do it? I'll do it. Here, let me have it. Oh, you want Anna? Anna, come over here. There we go. Sit up straight so we can put your shoes on. Shoes inside. I'll do this one. Anna needs that one. Here we go. There we go. I'm almost done. Yeah. Here's your iPad. You can have it back. Look, here. You put your no 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 don't take it off. Here, put this one on. Put this one on. That's it. You didn't have any trouble? Yeah, I can't get that off. Here we go. Lou, <laughs> don't do that. That's terrible. Are you crabby about it? All right, here we go. Let's go. Lou was born in California and he's everything seemed perfectly fine when he was first born but then a little bit after he was born we could tell that there was something different and since I'd already had four other kids before him I knew that he wasn't communicating with me which almost doesn't make sense because how can a baby communicate with you? But I kept asking the doctor about it, asking, asking, asking. Anyway, finally, when he was a year old, we actually got his diagnosis. And um, it was devastating because we were told that he might never walk, that he might never feed himself, that he would never be toilet trained in his whole life that he would need people to take care of him in his entire life. It was just the worst possible news. So Angelman syndrome is a genetic disorder. It, what it means is to have Angelman syndrome is that there's a little gene on your mother's 15th chromosome that isn't working right. In Louis's case, he's actually missing that gene. That gene is UBE3A. And when you have Angelman syndrome, you have, usually you have seizures, you have balance problems, you have some behavior problems, you can't sleep very well, and you can't talk. Right now, there are, it's a really exciting time for people who have Angelman syndrome because there are a lot of new treatments that are actually coming close to clinical trial that could turn on the paternal gene. So Louis is missing the maternal gene, but his paternal gene is there and it's just silence. That's how everyone's is. And so all we have to do is activate the paternal gene or deliver another gene with a virus, a viral vector. And so these things are coming really close to clinical trial. In fact, they've already done these same technologies for other disorders and had success. Some of them are, are FDA approved already. So we're working really, really hard to see if we can um, get Lou in these clinical trials and get these clinical trials going before, um, before it's really too late for Lou.